Welcome to the classroom. Teachers Game 2 here bringing you another video on Pokemon Duel. So today we're going to try out this new uh, edited uh, electric deck. I've been having a lot of luck with it lately. Um, I tweaked it just a little bit. I took out an Electabuzz or I was also running Jolteon and I threw in another Tapu Koko. I got a second one so threw it in. We're going to see how it goes. Um, scoop up, hurdle jump, hurdle jump. We have one of the twin dragons. We have a Dialga. Um, who else did I see? Yavetel. Keldeo. Interesting. This is a very interesting deck. So, comes off aggressive with Keldeo. Um, Hydro Kick. Sacred Sword. So, let's put pressure on him with Tapu Koko. This is probably a bad idea just because. Um, now he can hurdle jump, because I know he has a hurdle jump. He has two hurdle jumps. So now he can hurdle jump, try and take out my Tapu Koko and go for the surround. If that happens, I'll move this Tapu Koko right here. He does not go for it. Does he have a long throw? He does not. He has a scoop up, though. So we're going to pretty much do the same thing. We're going to try and attack Keldeo, just so he's not covering our entry point. We get the kill, forces him to move Yvettel over. I've noticed with this electric deck, I, ha I don't have to, but I have been playing a lot more aggressive. So it definitely changes the pace of the game. Um, I really enjoy it. So I'm a, a really big aggressive player, so... Hopefully, we can get some action in this. He advances with Zapdos. So, I am going to set up just in case if we want to surround him. I doubt he will attack. Zapdos does have a chain level, so we, we really want to get something else to defend Tapu Koko just in case he goes down. I want to get my Oricori out just so... Get out of here. Got to get my Oricori out just in case if he attacks with his Zapdos and I can get that Zap Cannon and have the extra chain levels on him. So he does not do anything. So what we're going to do, there we go. Now we got Oricori out on the field. 130. Not afraid of him. Let's see what he's going to do from here. So he, he retreats. Interesting. That would have been a perfect time to attack because now I am going to attack. I'm going to hope for my 100, which I don't get. He got his 130, so my 100 would have had plus 30, plus 7 from Oricori. Would have been able to knock him out. Now he is able to hurdle jump me if he wanted to, which he does not. We're going to attack Articuno. Nothing. I don't know what he can do besides move over his twin dragon. That was not... Oh. Okay. That was a good play on his part. Just so we don't get this guy knocked out, we're going to scoop him up. We're going to throw him down the lane. He knocked out my Ori Cori. I was counting on that. I would advance with Zapdos here. 
which he does not do. This gives me a chance to push with Vicavolt. Roosts for everybody. It's probably going to attack. Ori Cori is a very, very useful unit. So, with not having him out, that kind of puts me at a disadvantage. So, I am going to actually, I don't need to do that. All I need to do is electric energy after I move him back because he would have gotten surrounded. Hopefully I don't get knocked out. Because that's what I was expecting. Another roost, perfect. So let's try this again. Electric energy. Now I am going to cover my goal. Would not have done that because of that right there. Don't have an X attack. Attack Articuno because there's everything is good. All the matchups are good. He has to attack with his Dialga. Which is fine because I gave him weight. And advance with Zapdos. Hopefully he's not going to bring out his Twin Dragon and try and push. Um, I would expect that because that's not a lot of other options. You don't want to attack with Dialga. He does come out with his Twin Dragon. Reshiram um, does not help him. Zapdos does get burned. No, he does not. So we're going to go for the surround. This should be an easy win because the only chance he has is with Yavetl or Zapdo or Dialga. So. X attacking with Tialga? But I have a chain level. I have a chain level. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Gonna go for this round on Yavetl, and that's game. Mele Mele Wish. And then we're going to let Coco take the victory. Not too bad. I didn't recognize that the recording screen was on so end of the video I figure we might do another 10 pack let's see if we can try and pull hey look I have a booster ticket let's grab that too so let's do a 10 pack see if we can get anything good from this 
this uh, banner. Um, I got Tapu Lele yesterday, so hopefully we can get um, something else. Inke, not bad. Um, that'll add on to the chain levels once again. So. So. I was not going to do it. Eh, let's do it just in case. So. Let's go over to the 10 packs, see if we can pull anything good. Started off, we have Uncommon Haunter. Another uncommon, starting off good. Fennekin. Can we go rare? No, we cannot. Yes, we can, later in the game. Magneton, I definitely would, or Magneton. I definitely want to get a Magnezone so I can try out a Magneton, Magnezone. Throw it in my electric deck, see if it works. Charge bug. Give us another rare or an EX, please. Mawile. Go rare. No, no EXs so far. Cosmo. Um, that's Sogalio's evolution. So maybe we can get a Sogalio. Solasis. Still haven't gotten our EX. Maybe this will finally be it. So, going rare. Espeon, that's a new figure. Adding on to the Eeveelutions. I think this is probably our last one. Nope. Because we have to get an EX. Breaks in. This should be our last one. This should be a guaranteed EX, which it goes rainbow. And we got a Gardevoir. So one EX out of that 10 pack, definitely not the best. I sometimes get, I've gotten anywhere from five EXs out of 10 packs. Um, still haven't gotten the brand new plate. I would like to get that too, the Poison Blade. Still haven't gotten it, so. Desperate times, I thought it was Poison Blade for a second. And lots and lots of materials. So let's take a look at our materials. I should be sitting very high on materials. 1100, a little over 1100, or sorry, 11,000. So definitely can buy any kind of new figures. Um, not planning on to on buying anything new in the meantime, just because I'm sitting on quite a few UXs. So um, if you like the video, if you enjoyed what you saw, consider hitting that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and interested in, in more mobile video games, consider hitting that red subscribe button. So that's all for the video. I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.